excitement or relief after after that ninth inning? Yesterday, um, it was excitement yesterday. It was a really, really cool moment for our team. Um, really neat that, you know, we strung some good at-bats together there. You know, Klein really probably started the deal off. Um, I thought Max laid down a really good drag bunt, and the guy made a good play on him to lead off the inning. And uh, we are fortunate there. We get the wild pitch or pass ball with – Noisy up, and they put him on. You know, Trimba has a really good at bat. Kind of sets up, you know, the rest of it. And uh, you know, they um, there's a fine line there between pitching, you know, in and missing. And uh, Cam made them pay the price, I guess, for missing. And uh, you know, they hit old Trimba trying to go in there. And uh, hopefully he's okay. But it, it was really excitement. I wouldn't say relief anytime. You got nobody on and two outs. You know, you get pretty excited. You start putting it together. And pretty cool. Coach, I guess with Klein, I guess, uh, what was the message to him going going up, especially when two guys just go out so quick? Is it just really battling? Did you kind of feel like you embodied that? Uh, it really wasn't any message. I mean, it's – I mean, at that point, I'm standing over at third base about 90 feet from him, and uh, he'd seen the guy face two hitters. And uh, I think the guy was mainly fastball predominant. And uh, Brian got a good swing off, I think, uh, in a 1-0 count. And uh, was probably trying to tie the thing up. And uh, and then really uh, just laid off some good pitches. He really did what good hitters do. They, he's trying to get his pitch and uh, really just go put a good at-bat together. Can you just speak to your team and its resiliency, just not only kind of getting it close and then taking the lead, but then right after that, responding after they kind of went four up after that? Yeah, I mean, it's a nine-inning game for sure, and really proud of the way the guys, you know, kept playing. And Sometimes you keep playing and you hit a line drive right at somebody and nobody gets any, you know, you're like, hey, man, you guys didn't play very good. And But yesterday uh, just so happened where we kept, you know, trying to win pitches and guys did a good job. and. Um, I don't think at any point in the dugout, you know, the guys thought, I mean, we got to hit again. And, uh, and at the same time, we need to go out and pitch and execute pitches. And uh, there's a lot of positives either way yesterday. I mean, anytime you get 10, 10 pitchers in a game, uh, I want to say we had uh, 11 hitters in the game. Uh, you know, that's really our first pinch hit appearance in quite some time, you know, in a big spot that Facendo had. He hit a ball hard in the six. That's a hit against a lot of teams. They turn a nice double play. And so a lot of positives really throughout the whole, those two games. Not to mention the weather. I mean, it, you go to San Diego to play in the sunshine and we played in the mist and rain really two days. It was, um, you know, the ball, the infield single yesterday that put them within one, I guess in the bottom of the eighth. Uh, it's an out most days if it's dry. Brian just couldn't get his feet. He's on the run and couldn't get his feet, lost his feet, and the guy's going home. And So kind of interesting turn of events. Back in the fall, I asked you about Dylan. He hadn't, clearly hadn't done anything at that point, but uh, how impressive has he been at the plate, not just hitting the ball, but I mean, what, he had three walks yesterday as well? And yeah, one of them was intentional. Uh, he had a big part in that ball game yesterday. Really likes to play. Comes from a baseball family. You know, his brother's sitting there in AAA with Oakland right now. And, uh, you know, Dylan uh, prepares really well, works really hard. Uh, and he had a big play in game one. I mean, really, game one, he throws a guy out at third in the first inning and, uh, and ran the ball down. Probably went, oh, I'm going to say we had him in. We had, had him playing pull, the left-hand hitter, and the guy hit it in left center. He tracks it down, and as he's throwing it, I'm yelling too, thinking we need to keep the guy at first, second, or at first. And he throws the guy out by four feet. And so uh, really neat to see him, you know, get off to a good start. Look forward to watching him from here on. Just in terms of Braxton, how do you like the way that he's been catching, just being able to kind of keep uh, runners on? <clears throat> Yeah, um, 
He had some big moments in game one out there, I guess, in San Diego. Uh, yesterday, you know, you probably, he probably felt it a little bit in his legs. You could probably see that. And, uh, but he, you know, he caught well both days, uh, threw some guys out both days, uh, received the ball really good, had some really tough blocks in, on Tuesday and maybe one or two yesterday. And that's, you know, that doesn't go unnoticed. I mean, keep the guy, keep the double playing orders a big deal. What's your assessment of Wichita State as they come in? Yeah, I mean, Todd does a great job with his club. Um, really, all I've done to this point is watch their highlights from last night. There's about four minutes on Stillwater's website. And so we'll get into that here between now and tomorrow, game time. And uh, we like to keep it simple, though. I mean, our guys really, um, it's, you know, you go, need to go do what you do. And, Keep wor keep working on us. Keep progressing. What would you like to see from that? The progressing. What What would you like to see from your team this weekend? I think the biggest thing is understand nobody's there. I mean, you, you're going to keep growing. Uh, you're going to keep learning as you go, and uh, really just the mindset. You know that each day is a day, an opportunity to get a little bit better. And that's probably the main thing right now. Where are you going with it? Same rotation. Be good to get Mason back out there. Man, we got him out there yesterday and looked a little bit like a fish out of water coming out of the bullpen. And this is the right spot for him. Uh, and it got his bullpen in. But uh, it needs to, you know, he needs to go start for sure. What did you think of uh, Caleb Freeman yesterday? Made some big pitches. Wasn't phased at all in the situation when we brought him in. Uh, I think his base is loaded, one out. Makes a big pitch to the first guy, gets a comebacker to the mound. Uh, wasn't an easy play. Again, it's wet. Ball's wet. Grass is wet. He kind of fields it on the grass and dirt. Uh, throws a guy out at home. Braxton made a good play. I mean, there's a lot of young catchers who are trying to, trying to get the double play, and Braxton did a good job being fundamentally sound, squaring up and catching it. Wasn't a perfect throw is what I'm saying. Picked him up and uh, then came back and made a big pitch to the next guy or some big pitches. And uh, that's a big moment in that game. Sam, I guess uh, what was the mentality of the team just after you obviously take the lead, then you give up four, and then you're obviously down your last out. I guess what, what, what do you guys kind of tell each other? I was just, we fight until the last pitch and just battle out and just, <laughs> just see what happens. And hopefully we can get a couple guys on base and get them to, get them to score. Overall, what's the challenge of uh, obviously a quick turnaround for y'all? You have a midweek series, and you obviously have a three game coming into this weekend. Uh, just getting prepared, just doing a normal routine, getting ready for the weekend. Wichita State's going to come in, give us their best shot, and play well, hopefully win some games. Was it a good week to have that midweek, though, just to get the taste out of your mouth from Frisco and get some wins under your belt before Wichita State? It was good to come in, come back and win a couple games after the tough weekend. We didn't swing the bat well at all. It was bad conditions. We faced some good arms. so. It was good to have a couple, get a couple wins this week. In terms of Dylan, what, what have you seen from him just from, from his batting, just his uh, voice kind of in the, in the box? Um, he's, he's swinging it unbelievable. I knew he could swing it already because he swung it well all fall and spring, early spring, and then now he just he doesn't miss a lot of barrels and he's swinging the bat really well. Same thing with Brian, I guess, with, with the way he was able to get that walk. Does that just kind of epitomize the type of, type of philosophy he takes where he's going to battle? Oh, Klein always bats. He always has long at bats. Sees a lot of pitches, and he rarely swings at balls. Like he has a really good eye at the plate up there. So, what do you kind of know about Wichita State, or are you guys gonna look at him a little bit later? We haven't gone over him at all yet. We'll sure we'll go over him before the game tomorrow. We've all of us have played with a couple of their players. Luke Ritter, one of their seniors, three hole. Me and Josh played with him, and John and Jake McDonald played with him and stuff. What what all does that entail for you guys? How much uh, do you get to see on tape, and then is it more is it more discussion and reports? It's more discussion and reports. Tad will just call us over, and we'll just talk about the one through nine hitters, and then what guy we're facing on the mound that day. Sometimes we'll watch videos the day before. We did on Zach Thompson a little bit, but for the most part, it's more discussion. Is there anything more broad as a team you're you're trying to work on from Frisco and San Diego that from that overall road trip that you guys are focusing on in practice that you want to work on? 
Oh, that was just our first road trip. All the new guys, even Noisy, even though he's swinging it really well, still his first road trip. All the freshmen we have, new guys. So it was just good to go on the road and finally play on the road a little bit before we go to UT next weekend.